Hello out there, all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube. My name is Scooter Malloy, and I'm back with part three of the secret ingredients, plural, there's two of them, that made my dough super stretchy to be able to make Asian hand-pulled noodles or Chinese-pulled noodles. This combination, this recipe was just amazing. I totally found this on a fluke was a total accident. With that being said, now would be a good time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there below. Also make sure to hit the thumbs up or the like button if you like what you're seeing. The reason why you wanna be subscribed to this channel is to see great content like this. And also I do appreciate everybody that has liked and subscribed so far. We did hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you everybody who helped me to get to that point. All right, with that being said, if you saw the previous two videos, you saw that basically I mixed some flour, water, put a pinch of salt, and then I did an experiment with adding pineapple juice to one cup, adding baking soda to one cup, adding kombucha to a third cup, and then mixing all three of those into a fourth cup, I guess is what you would call it. The kombucha, if everybody saw the video just before this one, basically had no effect on the dough in terms of elasticity or anything else. The dough basically balled up really nicely and that did that but the secret to ingredients that helped to make the dough really stretchy really elastic I believe was a combination of the pineapple juice and also the baking soda so pineapple juice I got a chunk of pineapple I squoze out some of the juice so it was freshly squozen <laughs> pun intended but basically the pineapple juice turned the flour water mixture into glue basically really liquidy, really soft, basically broke down all the gluten bonds. Okay, then the baking soda had kind of like the opposite effect. The baking soda kind of helped to strengthen the gluten bonds, but also make them more elastic. So I think it's the combination of the pineapple juice and the baking soda is what turns the flour and water mixture into almost silly putty. Like this dough is really stretchy. Like I can keep stretching and stretching and stretching. And if you get the idea from making Asian hemp pulled noodles, I'm sure I could probably do this. What is it? Uh, four turns into eight, eight turns into 16, 16 turns, turns into 32, 32 turns into 64, 64 turns into 128. Anyways, you get the idea. This dough will keep stretching and stretching and stretching. And I honestly, honestly believe there's a natural way to do hand-pulled noodles. And I found and unlocked the secret. Pineapple juice and baking soda together added to the flour and water mix. By the way, if you haven't seen the previous two videos, please go and check them out. You definitely want to see those. But if, you're up, if you just want to get brought up to speed... The flour that I'm using is a relatively high protein flour. There's, I think, about 11 grams of protein in the flour. This is Gold Medal King Harvest Minnesota Winter Wheat. That is the type of flour that I was using. I'm curious, this will be a future experiment. I'm curious to see if it'll also do it with all purpose flour. Let's see what happens. But the water I was using was basically just room temperature tap water, nothing special there, nothing filtered or anything like that, just regular old tap water. And then I did put a pinch of salt in there as well because I believe the salt might also have an effect on this elasticity or whatever it was. But to recap once again, the mixture that I had made with just the kombucha had no effect on the elasticity. The flour and water mixture basically balled up like a regular piece of dough wood. Everything was fine there, no problem. But the pineapple juice one turned into glue basically breaking down those gluten bonds and making everything very liquidy. Then the baking soda one had basically a super sticky effect. Like I believe it turned, it turned everything into like Spider-Man's web kind of action, like where the baking soda turned the flour and water mixture into the super sticky stuff to elasticize, to make everything basically more elastic so that I could get this stretch out of the dough. It's still stretching and it's stretching and stretching and stretching. I'm sure it'll keep stretching even more the more I keep uh, doing this, but a little more flour and whatever, and I could probably turn, like I said, these 
four strands into eight, eight into 16. Anyways, you get the idea. Anyways, down there below, there are some links to some pretty cool products, so make sure to check those out. There's also a link to my Facebook page. It's Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure to visit that Facebook page. Like, follow, and subscribe on there if you like what you're seeing. Remember, there is a subscribe button down there. Please hit the subscribe button if you're curious about and want to see more content like this. Also, there's that like button. If you want to go ahead and hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Thank you again to everybody that has liked and subscribed down below before and got me to a thousand subscribers. Let's keep going. Let's go for 2000 now, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy and I will catch you all on the next exciting video. Just really quickly to recap the short answer, you can timestamp this at 546. If you want to make hand pulled noodles with, let's say more natural ingredients, the two secret ingredients to getting the stretchiness and the elasticity without the dough tearing is pineapple juice and baking soda added to your flour and water mixture. There you go. There is the secret. Anyways, Kuder Malloy and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.